Our second wine for limited edition 2012 is Argentinian Torrontes. You may not be familiar with that variety, but it is heavily planted all over Argentina. There are several subspecies of Torrontes, but we're using the one called Torrontes Riojano. It has the highest quality of the varieties. It crops lower and improves the intensity and richness of the fruit. It's aromatic, it's very spicy, and it's reminiscent of several other grape varieties. It's an easy drinker. It'll also drink quite early. This is not one you're going to have to put away forever in your cellar before you can enjoy it. The grapes come from the same vineyards that we harvested our Malbec Bernardo from, Vinas Dona Constanza, and the growing conditions and the soil are perfect for Torontes as well. Torontes, as I said, is a very spicy and aromatic grape. Most people will compare it to Muscat or Gewürztraminer because they're also quite aromatic. I happen to think it is close to Viognier. If you've never had any of those three, what Torontes offers is a smell of peaches and also that deeper hint of peach pit to the aroma. It's floral, kind of like an orange blossom and citrus character to it. But all those rich, intense flavors don't mean that it has to take a long time to integrate. It drinks early and it drinks easy. You'll have to wait for three months for it to calm down in the bottle, but after that, it's going to be rich, flavorful, really lush drinking. It'll also age well, but only for about a year to 18 months. This is not one to put away for the ages. It's one to enjoy straight up. It's a great food wine. All that fruit character and richness help it work against salty or smoky things. So smoked meat, medium strong cheeses, seafood or spicy foods such as Thai will work excellently with it. However, we have come up with something really special for limited edition 2012. The Argentinian Torrantes is being paired with a fig and goat cheese tartlet. Figs are stewed in red wine until they're soft and rich. Then they're served with caramelized onion and goat cheese on flaky butter pastry. This works with the Torrantes because the fruitiness goes against the goat cheese for a sweet and tart combination. It also works because the figs are sweet and makes the Torrantes seem tart on the other end. It's a very dynamic shifting balance of flavors and you'll want to keep exploring it except that you'll get to the bottom of that tart awfully soon.